Today we are filming a get ready with me video. I love these videos. They're fun. You and I hanging out, chit chat. That's what's going on today. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again. Today's gonna get pretty deep and emotional, so I hope that you're emotionally prepared for it. Without further ado, let's jump in to this video. Honestly, how absolutely terrifying does one look with just eyebrows? It's a bit much. Good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I'm just gonna prime up real quick. This is from Hourglass. It's their Veil Mineral Primer. Ooh. Ooh, oh, that's nice. Ooh, like silk. I know we just did a get ready with me in August, so I guess it's been, you know, a month or two. But when I have things I want to talk to you about, sometimes I just feel like maybe sitting here and talking about them, just staring at you would be boring, you know? And makeup's fun. So I like to do my makeup at the same time as talking to you. Listen, in the past, we've gone a little crazy with our foundation cocktails. Today, it's pretty simple. I keep trying new foundations and then I always go back to the Too Faced board in this way. I'm in the shade Warm Nude, but I did apply some self tanner last night. I'm just gonna add a drop of the Makeup Transforming Drops, and this is darkening. Just like a little bit, nothing crazy. Think if you can live without me. All right, Linda, we need to talk. I can't live without this. Once again, I keep trying to leave this and then I always come back. Real Technique Sponge, it's just so good. When I first started my YouTube channel, the thought of going on camera with no makeup <laughs> demolished me. And now look at me. Okay, so this doesn't match my self-tan at all. I would give it about an A for effort though. Like I really did try to do it, it just didn't work out. When in doubt, dab it out. Hard to sing when you're, uh, you know? I've been trying out this bad boy. There's so many concealers on the market. I just, whew, I can't keep up. This is the new concealer from Jouer. Their essential high coverage liquid concealer. If there was a competition for world's darkest eye circles, I think I would win. I'm pretty confident in myself that I would. I think they've gotten better from celery juice. I'm so skeptical. Is it the celery juice or am I just making up in my head and they look the exact same? A little cream contour. I gotta tell you a crazy story. I've had this face powder all year. It's my favorite. It's the Too Faced Peach Perfect. It's good. And I use a lot of it. You guys know me. Full cake at all times over here. I'm gonna get it with lit. You know, the last time I filmed this Get Ready With Me, I was in, I was in a rough place. I have been working so extremely hard at being so much kinder to myself. That's a hard thing to do. At the time, I was really struggling because I completely forgot why <laughs> I love working out. I think when you start working out, it's very physical and you quickly begin to understand that it is so much more than that. The gym saved me, girl. The gym saved me. I started working out because I wasn't happy with how I looked. And quickly after I started working out, I realized, whew, this is really helping my mental health. I'm getting out of bed for the first time all year, so that's exciting. Oh, I picked up this Girlactic bronzer. It's a matte bronzer, but it has such a beautiful, like, glowy sheen to it. I love glowy bronzers. My favorite glowy bronzer of all time is from Hourglass. This is the Radiant Bronze Light. Ooh, phenomenal. Today I'm gonna to be using this. Ooh. It's confusing because it looks so light in the pan and then it's just perfect on the skin. I can't nose contour to save my life, but I kinda of wanna try just today maybe. Every time I nose contour, I'm like, big mistake. I already messed it up. I already messed it up. Oh no. Oh, like not bad though. Like I kinda of did okay, right? You know when you're like super unsure and you're like, I did really good, right? Right? It's like, I know I didn't do great. I was just hoping maybe you'd lie to me or something. This blush, this blush room, ooh, this blush room is good. I love to do my entire face and then I'll get to my eyes. I'm really bad at my eyeballs, so I just like to save that for last. Too good. As I've been coming back to my roots of why I started working out, I am finally feeling myself again. I'm loving the gym again. I can get to the gym every single day. Even on my worst day, I know going to the gym is going to make me feel better and I will get to the gym. But the emotional eating and the eating out of boredom and the trying to eat healthy, that is the hardest part for me. It has always been. I bring up nutrition because as we go into winter, I keep getting a lot of comments and questions about if I'm gonna be bulking this winter. I'll be blatantly honest with you, I have had very 
bad experiences trying to bulk. I started bulking truly to please other people. And when something becomes so dreadful and you absolutely hate doing something, it's really going to start affecting your mental health. And that's what happened to me this year. It quickly became so discouraging and I quickly fell out of love with going to the gym and eating healthy and like, that's not me. You guys know that's not me. Forcing myself to do something I absolutely hated made absolutely no sense. And then it pushed me into this place where I was really unhappy and that's kind of the funk that I've been trying to get myself out of. I just picked up this palette from Huda Beauty. It's the Topaz Obsessions. I've never tried any of her shadows before, but I liked how mini this was, you know, little mini guy. It kind of brings me back to the old Whitney. You know, the old Whitney used to only wear orange eyeshadow. I'm gonna try this whole cut your crease thing. I feel like maybe I could do it, maybe. It's putting a lot of faith in myself, but if you're not gonna believe in yourself, who will? I'm trying not to get ahead of myself, but I think I'm doing it here. I think I'm cutting a crease. <sighs> definitely not my best work, but definitely not my worst. That's for sure. I think we should add like some glitter today. Wouldn't that be fun? I don't really wear glitter often, but I feel like today's the day to do it. Hmm. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know if we're feeling that. I did make a mistake. I knew I shouldn't have cut a crease. I knew I wasn't ready for that. It's not that bad. Like I'm kind of being dramatic, but what am I not dramatic, you know? Now it just looks like I didn't cut the crease, so that's just confusing. I truly believe we put way too much pressure on ourselves to eat perfect, have the best workout, six days a week, always having a protein shake, never eating a cookie, Whew. The list goes on and on. And living a healthy lifestyle should be fun. It should help you not only physically and mentally, and if it's not, you gotta do what I did and we gotta make a change. It's okay if you mess up, that's that's the journey, okay? Pick yourself up. If you went through the Taco Bell drive-thru, okay, yum. Second of all, next meal, do better. There's a song I really like, it's called Nobody's Perfect. It's by Hannah Montana, it goes, nobody's perfect. It's a great song and it just reminds you that nobody is perfect. My goal right now is to be healthy and happy. See, I, I lost sight of that happy part. You know, I lost sight of that for a moment. I didn't think I was gaining muscle fast enough. I put way too much pressure on myself and I hated it so much that I started to resent the gym. Now, would I still love to put on more muscle? Yes, absolutely. And slowly but surely, I will get there and I will get there without going through this huge dramatic bulking phase where I'm down in 1800,000 calories a day and wanting to cry because my belly's so full but I just felt so much pressure to eat more food. <laughs> Listen, I feel like I'm gonna deepen up the crease a little bit and then call it a day. I've been on my eyeshadow for 18 years now. Way too long if you ask me. I'm going into this little chocolate brown. We're getting somewhere. I like this palette. It's fun. Now I have to touch up my eyebrows. See, this is the issue. How do people do their eyebrows before their makeup? It blows my mind. Oh, let me tell you about the most life-changing product I have discovered lately. Boy brow. This is it. You see that fluffiness? I love that. Oh, I still love this primer, this pink primer. Truly have never in my entire life used a lash primer, but this makes the biggest difference. If there's one thing I hope you take from this video, because I know I've been talking in circles the entire time. I do that though. The makeup just really distracts me, you know? If you are struggling with your fitness journey right now, and you're having a really hard time, keep going, keep pushing, stop beating yourself up if you mess up. This year, I really, really struggled. I would say from about May to August, I really struggled this year with my fitness journey, with my workouts, with my nutrition. I simply forgot why I started working out, but this is a lifestyle. We want this for life, girl. So keep going, keep pushing. I'm here for you, girl. If you're not happy right now with what you're doing, just simply try switching it up. Take the pressure off yourself just do what you love. I'm so happy that I'm finally feeling myself again. I love the gym again. I love my workouts again. And let me tell you something. The moment that I started taking so much pressure off myself is the moment I started seeing the most change in my physique. It's time for highlight. The best time of the day. Have I ever told you that I'm really bad at singing? <sighs> this highlight's good. I mean, it did break on me. So that's awkward. You love something and then they just want to hurt you. That's a part of life. This is the icing on the cake. We have the cake, now we have the icing. So you really gotta just fall out here. Love that. What am I gonna do for a lip -a Oh, I know what I want to do. I don't know where the lip -a is. Maybe? You guys steal my lip -a Why'd you steal it? Indeed, you're a thief. Oh, I'm sorry, I placed blame. It's right here. Mm. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. That's cute. All right, you guys, that is going to conclude today's Get Ready With Me video. I was busy thinking about boys, boys. 
I love you guys so much. I hope that, you know, maybe anything, something I said made sense today. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you next time.